Uh, does that matter now? You have been kicked from this conference. Hmm. It's always so hard to keep those scammers on the phone long enough to have some fun. They seem to be getting a little smarter about uh, when to get off the line when they can tell you're just yanking them along. So, I've been working all day just kind of chaining coffees together. And I have another project. This trailer was a camper. Um, I used it for several years and my brother used it. He now has a, a new utility trailer. So it's come back to me using the big white one there to haul around the toys. It's just kind of cumbersome for just a weekend getaway type thing. So I'm hoping this, uh, this black one here can come back together um, because with the sides fold down, the back folds down, the front folds down, you can actually put three ATVs in a row here and then one up in the truck. I can carry small, four small ATVs, which isn't bad. So I got to figure out what it needs. My brother went through and did uh, new lights on it, but the four, the flat four connector is a little short to reach my truck. So I got to work on that. Um, and I got to pull up the decking and get a look at the just the frame underneath. It's it's looking, it's it's looking crusty. It's pretty crusty. So I think we're going to start there. We're going to pull up the deck, have a look around, make things make things easier to work on, and see if we can salvage this thing. Get a couple more good seasons out of it. So it looks like the deck on here is probably just milled slabs of oak, probably hit with a chassis paint. It's been sitting out, it's cracking up a little bit. But I think what I want to do is I want to get these two center planks out so I can get out the frame underneath the center here uh, and check out some of the welds. So I got to try and get a couple of these recess bolts out and I'm gonna see about going at that from the bottom and if that doesn't work out well I think I'll just take uh, my circular saw and just drop it in I'll just drop it in to cut these up a bit so I can get underneath get a pry bar uh, and get something underneath here to cut because my hunch is these are gonna be really rusted and there just isn't enough poking up for me to try and grind them out from the top So this is what I'm dealing with. It's a little deeper than surface there. I'm gonna get these bolts out. Man, I don't know if I hit those with an air hammer or anything, they'll come or snap. But this is some of the stuff I'm worried about. It cannot be cleaned up and get a weld. Or do I just need to put a whole bunch of more steel in here? Crusty. Oh, crusty. I've got to finish getting out some of the last bolts here. Um, I've got to get in here and clean this metal up uh, as best it can so I can make a determination as to whether it's going to be solid enough. And this here is concerning. Got to figure out if that's going to be soft or if I can clean that up and uh, give it another coat of chassis paint. Same thing on the other side. And also these sidewall pieces here. This one's secure. This one is just free. That's going to have to be cleaned up and welded. Some of these cross members, those two are loose. We're going to have to lengthen the 
um, wiring for the lights. But so far, I think, I think this can be done. I think it can be done. So it's, uh, it's day two now, working on this trailer. It's starting to come together here. I got the, the decking all ripped off uh, yesterday, but uh, there's more work to do. So next, I still have a couple of bolts to cut off on here. Uh, I've got to order some, uh, some uh, replacement U-bolts and plates for these, uh, for these wheels and axles here. The wheels and axles, uh, pretty crusty, so I'm cleaning those up. But these here, these, as I'm starting to clean up these nuts, there's just nothing left. So this is a three inch axle. It's rated 7,000 pounds. There's two of them. So I'll, obviously I need uh, four sets of uh, replacement U-bolts. So we'll get those, we'll cut those out, we'll put that in. We're gonna keep cleaning up because there is some spots here we need to weld. This piece isn't attached on this end, so we're gonna clean that up. Uh, done, well my brother did one of the replacement shackle bolts here. I'm gonna at least do a new one up front and the ends on both sides there. And then, and then we're gonna kinda keep cleaning it up to get an idea of how much work do we need to do to make this thing safe. But for today, I'm gonna keep cutting out the bolts, I'm gonna remove the electric and uh, keep cleaning and prepping for when we turn the corner and we start putting this thing back together. Another hour of work on this thing. Um, I was able to thread the electrical out. That was easy. I finished cutting out the various bolts that were still left over from the decking. I got one weld in. I got a weld in down here on this cross member and I started welding up in the corner there but I really didn't get uh, a good fit up and the welds really poor so I'm gonna have to uh, grind that back down and try again. One thing I am gonna do though is I'm gonna get some bolts so I can actually bolt the side to the frame here and then weld it and I think I'll do the same thing behind this tire I'm going to get some jack stands put it up take this tire off so I can get back in here clean all this up and do the same thing get a bolt in there uh, and a weld and that's as far as I got for this evening so a little bit slower this time around but this is the slow part it's a lot of cleanup I started using some wire brush to keep getting some of the the crud off of here it's just going to take some time uh, to get it down get it cleaned up well before we get chassis paint on here start putting the deck back on I uh, did measure this it is uh, about eight and a half feet long just about seven feet wide so there's some good deck space on here but for now park it for another night That's enough for another day. Mostly did uh, some grinding today, continuing to get some of that surface rust off. Also took off some of the side boards here. So now I have some easier access to get down and keep cleaning this up. Because this is going to need a, a bolt and a weld up here. This one is snapped off. I'm going to get the jack stands, set this thing up, get the tire off so I can clean that up, take care of that one. Also do a weld and bolt. and keep cleaning off um, the crunch and crud. You can see there's been a couple of layers of paint on it. Looks like it was green at one point, it was red at one point. It certainly has had a black coat of chassis paint. There's a lot of crunch to still get off here. So, but I have time. So for now, that's it. Heading into Labor Day weekend, so I'll park this for a bit and uh, you know, we'll go do something else for a while. All right, here we go. Day four on this thing now, or day, <clears throat> working day four. I've been kind of putzing at this trailer on and off over the last week, week and a half. Uh, slowly getting all the rust removed and probably don't actually need to remove as much rust um, as I have been before putting, you know, kind of some chassis paint um, over here and kind of some, some rust inhibitor. But I do want to pull these wheels off. 
I want to pull these wheels off. I'm going to jack it up, put it on the jack stands, pull these wheels off so I can do some cleaning on the outside. I want to get the rust chunks off the frame there, all this kind of built up scale. And I do have the U-bolts now to replace both of those, but to make my life easier, jack it up, pull them off, clean it up, cut those, put them back on, and then it's going to be a rinse and repeat. All right, Whew. I shouldn't be winded, but I am. Uh, and in case you were wondering, I did actually break these bolts out while the tires were on the, uh, on the ground. Uh, they weren't loose enough that I was able to loosen them while I was in the air. Nope, I broke them out first. So now that it's up, we can get a look behind here. Some of this scaling. I'm gonna get this all cleaned off. With any luck tonight, we'll get to cut and replacing some of these. Oh, my glasses are fogging. Whew. But uh, first, I got to get a mask on, get some protective gear on, because uh, that rust dust, that's ah, just no fun. That's nothing good for you. So, all right, on to the next thing. Some of the scale looks pretty loose, so I'm just going to try and hit it with a, a brush. Ah, I got to flake that off of something bigger. Let's try flathead. Yeah, look at that. Maybe pry bar. Maybe not. So this stuff uh, gets the moisture. When it gets the moisture in there, it swells up almost 16 times as thick. So it's not as bad as it looks, but that's still a lot of scale. Next, I think I'm going to hold up this axle. I'm going to cut these U-bolts. All right, I'm going to go get a cutting disc. nothing. Make sure I don't bump my head on that. So, 
we have some new parts. These should replace that. Let's set it up. Uh, doesn't really give me a front and back, but I can see from the old one that these lips set in such a way. Ow, not my head, but my arm. All right, three quarter inch. Oh, son of a gun, well, that, that ain't gonna work for a lot of this. Time for a spanner wrench as well here. Alright, so that's snug enough for now. Once I have the tires and wheels back on, set down on the ground, we're going to hit this nice and tight. Um, boy, I might even do a little Loctite on here, I'm not sure, but they're going to get tighter from there. But for now, for now I also have these bolts, I have the spares to replace. Huh. Didn't realize this before. There's a Zerk fitting in here. I thought that was just some bad, bad rust, but there's a Zerk. Only one of them has a Zerk. Eh. So I have some of these hardened bolts. Exactly what we need for this. I just have to cut. So, looks like that's what we do. This one looks like in a good position to cut. I'm swapping over to a thinner cutting wheel. Get into that bolt. Okay, well the answer to that is much, much quicker. Same size diameter wheel, but the thinner one just motored right through that. Hunk of metal is warmish. All right. Well, here's where we are going to park it. Pretty interesting bolt, actually, now that I look at it. Zerk fitting on the end. And squeeze grease right out in it. Partially hollow. Hmm. But for tonight, we're going to stop there.